Hello, and welcome to episode 3 of Exploring Joomla 3.x. So in the last episode, we installed the NetBeans IDE, uh, which I told you will enable us to um, have some features when we're code, uh, uh, like traversing classes and things like that. But in this episode, um, we're going to install the Joomla CMS into our virtual host. So the first thing that we need to do, of course, is download the CMS. So if you open your web browser, and let's go to joomla.org. All right, this is the uh, home page of uh, Joomla. Uh, here you can download um, uh, the CMS. Uh, you can get support. And there's uh, this is a very good site to spend some time on, uh, just reading around and and seeing what other folks are doing and what they're doing with the CMS. Uh, one thing I did notice that uh, the last couple of videos I put out, when I export them, um, they have a black um, rim around them, and I think what's going on is the resolution of my monitor is 16 by 10 and when I export them um, as HD for YouTube uh, it ends up being 16 by 9 and instead of scaling the video uh, I think it makes up it scales it down that makes up the difference with the border but anyway that's probably beside the point so alright so we need to download Joomla we can do that by uh, clicking on this download button here in the upper right hand corner and then we have two choices. We can download the full package or we can download an upgrade package. Well, obviously, we have not installed yet, so we want to grab the full package. And I'm going to save this. Okay, now that the file is saved, um, if you've not changed your defaults on uh, Firefox, it should go to the download folder. So we can click on Home and Downloads. And here we see the NetBeans full or the NetBeans uh, file that we downloaded in the last video, and here we see um, the Joomla 3.5.1 um, full package. So at the time of this writing, obviously, um, or this video, the uh, version of Joomla that's available is 3.5.1. This could be a newer version. Uh, I doubt that there would be much uh, to change, so you should be able to follow along um, with this at this point. So now that we have it downloaded we need to extract this uh, file uh, the contents of this file to our joomdev folder and if you remember joomdev is where we're storing uh, the web uh, files, the pages and the PHP code uh, that we're going to use, uh, that we use in our virtual host. Okay. So there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, if, if you're a desktop user you can right click this here and uh, open it with the archive manager okay and you can click extract and then browse to where you want to extract it desktop Joom dev okay and hit extract and it will extract everything uh, in there uh, in the archive into this folder as a matter of fact we'll do that so yeah we can replace that simply because um, we have a uh, we don't need that file anymore. So when it uh, says that it's, uh, extraction is completed successfully, just hit close. You can close the archiver. Now if we go to the desktop and look in here, we'll see all the files that were in this archive have been extracted out. Um, for those of you who are using a, a command line environment for some reason, I'm going to delete these files. And let's talk about how we um, can extract them with the command line. So I'm going to hit Control Alt T to bring up my terminal, and uh, I'm going to use a. This is a zip file, so we're going to use a program called Zip. Now I don't know if Zip is installed by default. One way to test is we can type in the command which, and then Zip. So what this command does says, okay, if I were to run the Zip program, which file would you execute? and it comes back and says well I would use the zip program located in user bin well when you get a return path like this we know that it's uh, uh, expired uh, not expired <laughs> that it's installed uh, if it wasn't installed we get a different response so uh, the to use zip from the command line is basically you know you're gonna say um, unzip 
and we're going to uh, give the uh, file that we want to unzip, which in our case is uh, located in uh, downloads, and it's uh, Joomla, and I just hit tab for tab completion. That's the file that I want to download. It's located, if we look here, it's located in my home folder and the downloads folder, and that's the name of the file. And then I want to use a uh, flag, minus D, and that's the destination, and then where do I want to uh, uh, extract it to. So I'll use tilde in my home folder and I want to go to the desktop and I want to go to the, my Joom dev folder and just hit enter and then we'll get all the stuff pop up here as it extracts it and if we look over here in Joom dev we see that those files are back there again. So simple as that. So before we can actually uh, install Joomla we have all the files here but before we can actually install it we'll have to create a database in which uh, that Joomla can use so let's open our browser back up and let's go to uh, joom.dev remember that's the virtual host that we set up and let's go to PHP my admin okay now last time I um, showed you this when we had these errors I told you to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click ignore all and I thought that would uh, I think that only does it while the um, while the uh, browser is active when you shut it down I think it loses that information so if that's up there just pop pop down there and tell it ignore it so we don't have all that crap up there and let's log in remember we're root and the password is the password that you use to set up MySQL when you've done your LAMP install Remember, you were supposed to write it down and keep it in a super safe place. So enter that password, and we will log into PHP My Admin. And again, this application is used to uh, create, edit, update, delete um, data, tables, databases, the whole ball of wax. So we're going to use this tab right here, Databases, and when we click on that, we'll show you the databases that are listed, and then right here it gives us an opportunity to create a database. So I want to create a database for the Joomla installation, and I'm just going to call it, oh, I don't know, how about Joom uh, 3? So I know this is a Joomla database ver for version 3.x. The collation, um, there's probably no reason for you to change the collation. Uh, so I'll just leave that at that and we'll use the de default that's set in the database server and hit create. So now when we do that you'll see that on the left our Joom 3 database has been created and by the way you can call it anything you want. The, the database is created and we're brought to a screen where we can create tables. We're going to stop there so let's go back over here to the files where we extracted Joomla. Remember it's on the Joom Dev folder on our desktop. And let's talk about what's here. So essentially all the files that are needed uh, to run Joomla are already in place. Okay, you can see that there's the components are there, uh, the administrator stuff is here, so the, the administrative modules, etc, etc everything's already here but it won't run as it is because there's it's not been set up to uh, to access the database and that's really what the uh, install does and you'll see a, f uh, a folder here called index.php and uh, of course this is the default file that is loaded and when this file is loaded it looks uh, basically it looks to see if this folder exists installation right and uh, if there's a config or anything like that. So if there's a config and the installation uh, folder is there, it won't run. Uh, in other words, you know, after it's installed, this installation folder uh, has to be removed. Inside the installation folder, you'll see um, an index.php file, and this one will uh, is one that controls um, and installs uh, the data to the database and, and gets everything set up. So um, that's just kind of a, a, an overview. So to install, remember we've created a database uh, in, in uh, phpMyAdmin. We've extracted the files. So we're just going to go to joom.dev. 
So what you see here is the Joomla installer and it's pretty easy straightforward to use. Um, so the language that you want to use if you're an, I'm a native English speaker from the United States so I'm going to select that but you can see that there are a lot of other languages that you can choose from okay the site name this I'm just going to call uh, Joomla develop uh, development server okay so that's the name of my site um, now I'll tell you what let's let's uh, let's let's be a little bit more descriptive um, now no, let's go okay so description um, the server is to uh, use for developing Joomla extensions okay so that's one but you can put anything you want there okay the administrator email is uh, whatever email you want to use at whatever um, uh, domain. Uh, the administrator username, now this is for the super user account this is so that you can manage Joomla in the back end and uh, they don't recommend using admin but I'm going to use admin just simply because um, this this site will never be live out there on the internet and I'm going to use admin and admin for um, uh, the password and hopefully I can remember that and we're gonna hit next okay so now it's the database configuration so the database type this is the method that you're gonna use to connect to the database you have uh, mysql i and mysql pdo I'm just gonna I would recommend just leaving it at mysql i the host name this is where the database server is located well, you remember we installed MySQL when we installed LAMP and it's installed on this machine, so it's local host, so we'll leave that. The username, of course, is root because we haven't set up any special users to use databases. And this password is the password that you set up when you installed um, MySQL on the LAMP install. Now, the database name, if we come back over here, I'm sorry, right up here, remember we this is whatever you called this database. I called mine Joom3 so that's what I want to put here. Joom3 and then the table prefix used to be in the old days of Joomla all the uh, all the tables were prefixed with JOS and an underscore. Well the problem with that is if everybody out there knows that your database starts with that they can uh, you know they have an idea of, of what's on your server and can try to you know makes it maybe easier to hack yeah I don't know so what they done was that um, the table prefix is kind of randomly generated now you can set this to anything you want um, but I'm just gonna leave whatever they chose okay uh, as far as the old database um, there's uh, right now so you can either back up or remove it we don't have anything so it doesn't matter we're gonna hit next okay and then so here's an overview do you want to install any sample data? Well, I don't, but if you if you're kind of new with Joomla, haven't really used Joomla, you probably should install this learn Joomla um, sample data and get to know Joomla. I'm not going to be spending a lot of time on how to use Joomla. I assume uh, that you have used Joomla or been exposed to Joomla and that uh, you know a little bit about PHP and that sort of thing and your goal is to write extensions so that's that uh, email configuration do you want to send an email of the configuration file um, to the uh, administrator remember that's the email address that we put in there I put in a bogus uh, address so I'm just gonna leave it to know uh, the main site configuration just gives us an overview of what we've set up and the pre-installation check of course you have to meet all these requirements these are recommended setting for example they say well display errors should be off we have them on because well we want to see our errors uh, output buffering should be off and native zip support should be on and we don't have uh, zip support installed with PHP so at this point we got everything we need we can hit install so um, as Joomla installs 
uh, it builds its database um, um, and then creates the tables and then creates a configuration file and writes all that sort of stuff and when it's done we'll be prompted uh, with an opportunity to delete the install file or the installation folder remember that Joomla will not run uh, if the installation folder is present. So this could take a minute. Um, if it takes too long, I'll pause the video and uh, edit that section out. Okay, uh, it tells you congratulations, Joomla is installed and we're doing pretty good. So remember I told you that we have to remove this installation folder. If we try to go to the site or um, the administrator back end, at this point it won't go. It will, it will um, I would just bail on us. So we're going to remove that. So it tells us that it removed successfully. And then we're going to go to the back end and you see that we're welcomed with the Joomla administrative login. Remember I set mine to admin and admin. And here we are. So uh, we have um, Joomla installed. If we want to see the front end we can just go to joom.dev there's the front end, Joomla development server, um, login form. There's no nothing here. Like I said, I'm not. I wasn't interested in installing any data. Any data. Uh, you can if you want. Uh, the back end, of course, is where you're going to install components. Uh, components include um, uh, templates, which um, make uh, kind of decide how the look and the feel of Joomla on the front or back end. Um, components. Components are what are displayed in the major area here. Modules. Modules uh, are little things that sit off to the side. For example, the login form here is a module to handle login to Joomla. The main menu is a menu module that um, uh, you know displays the menu and then there's a number of other modules that you can uh, put. There are plugins. Plugins uh, work in the back end and um, they modify data in, in one way or another before it's actually sent to Joomla to be viewed. And then um, there are language packs. And of course, language packs allow you to uh, change the language of uh, a component or, this, or the Joomla system to uh, another language uh, so that your component can be multilingual. So that's it in a nutshell. This is kind of a short video. I didn't really want it to be too long. We have it installed. In the next episode, we will be um, adding Joomla to NetBeans as a project so that we can browse and look at the uh, source code. So again, thank you for your time uh, and, and energy. and. Uh, um, uh, I want to apologize uh, for my stammering. You know, I'm not a very good speaker either, and, and you'll discover soon enough that I'm probably not a very good programmer either. But uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment uh, below the video, or you can go to uh, my personal webpage. It's myheap.com. And in the menu bar under technology, you'll see uh, Exploring Joomla 3.x. When you go there, you'll see that uh, there's an update here that we're migrating the 12.04 stuff over to 16.4 and from Joomla 2.5 to Joomla 3. And this just shows the progress. When these are all caught up, uh, this will go away. So under Development Tools, you'll find the articles on each one. You can download um, a printable PDF version of it. You can watch the YouTube video. And so that's what you see under... Um, development tools. Also it would be good to come back to the web page um, if I'm working on a component it will probably be in multiple parts and you you um, may want to download the component at that level and I will make it available on this page. If you have any questions you can click the contact us link and you can send an email um, to me and that will come to my inbox uh, and it's marked in such a way that uh, I will notice it. Uh, other than that, um, thanks again for watching. If you like the video, uh, please tell your friends. Click like. And other than that, have a very blessed day. Thank you very much.